Okay, good afternoon everyone. My name's Sarah and I'm a research assistant at the British Nutrition Foundation and today I'm going to talk to you about fruit and vegetables and five a day. So fruit and vegetables are one of the five food groups that make up the Eat Well plate. The Eat Well plate is the UK's healthy eating guide which sets out the types and proportions of foods and drinks which make up a healthy varied diet. One third of the Eat Well plate uh, should be made up of fruit and vegetables. So this shows that they are an important part of a healthy, varied diet. So why do we need to eat fruit and vegetables? It's important for us to include these types of foods in our diet because they provide us with a number of different nutrients, including carbohydrate, different vitamins and minerals, as well as fibre. Our body needs all of these things to function properly and to stay healthy. Some of the nutrients that we can get from fruit and vegetables can be seen here. So vitamin C is found in citrus fruits, berries, peppers and tomatoes. Now vitamin C is important for healthy skin and body tissues, as well as also helping us to absorb an important mineral called iron. Beta carotene, which is a form of vitamin A, is found in dark green leafy vegetables like spinach and broccoli, as well as carrots and orange coloured fruit. We need beta carotene for healthy growth and development, for example, to help us maintain healthy skin and vision. Folate is another vitamin that we found, find in fruit and vegetables, and this can also be found in dark green leafy vegetables and oranges and bananas. We need folate for helping to keep our red blood cells healthy, and it's also important for a healthy nervous system. Fruit and vegetables are also key to include in our diets because they contain carbohydrate, and all fruit, as well as starchy vegetables like parsnips and sweet potatoes, contain this nutrient. We need carbohydrate in the diet because it provides energy for the body. As well as all these nutrients mentioned, fruit and vegetables also provide us with fibre, which helps keep your gut healthy. It's a good idea to aim to eat a variety of types of fruit and vegetables every day because they all contain different amounts of nutrients. One way to try and do this is to try and choose a rainbow of colours of fruit and vegetables. We should all eat at least five portions of fruit and vegetables every day, which is called your five a day, which hopefully you should have all heard of. So how many of you think that you eat your five a day? Okay, well, most children and young people don't eat their five portions of fruit or vegetables every day. A survey has shown that about 9 out of 10 children don't eat enough fruit and vegetables, so it's important that you try and eat more in your diet. You may think that only fresh fruit and vegetables count towards your five a day, but this isn't true, as many other forms of this food group count too. This includes frozen varieties, such as frozen peas or frozen berries. As well as fresh and frozen, there are other types of fruit and vegetables that count. Canned or tinned varieties count too, such as sweet corn or tinned fruit. If you eat these types of fruit and vegetables, try and choose those with no added sugar or salt, or fruit tinned in natural juices. Dried fruit, such as apricots, raisins or sultanas, count as well. There are also some drinks that count towards your five a day. For example, 100% fruit or vegetable juice or smoothies. Do you think that potatoes count towards your five a day? Um, as although potatoes are a vegetable, they don't count towards your five a day as they are a starchy food. It's still important to include them in our diet though, as they provide us with energy. Do you think that baked beans count towards your five a day? Well, baked beans and other types of beans do count as one of your five a day. One portion is about three heaped tablespoons of beans. However, they will only count as one portion a day, no matter how much you eat. So now that we've looked at some of the types of fruit and vegetables that count, let's think about how much is a portion. The amount of fruit or vegetables that you need to eat to get one portion is roughly about the amount that will fit in the palm of your hand. Some examples of how much makes up a portion can be seen here. So examples include one apple, orange or banana, two plums or satsumas, half an avocado, one slice of melon, a handful of berries, one heaped tablespoon of dried fruit, two broccoli spears or four heaped tablespoons of green vegetables such as kale, spinach or green beans, 
or three heaped tablespoons of cooked vegetables. There are some types of fruit and vegetables which may only count as a maximum of one or two portions per day. A glass of fruit or vegetable juice is equal to one portion. However, fruit or vegetable juice will only count once a day, no matter how much you drink or how many different types of juice you have. So even if you drank five glasses of fruit juice a day, this would still only count as one portion of your five a day. Smoothies can count as two of your five a day, as long as they contain all of the edible pulped fruit or vegetables and fruit juice too. But you can normally check the label to see how many portions it will give you. And as mentioned earlier, pulses like beans and lentils also only count once a day, no matter how much you eat or how many different types you have. As well as eating fruit and vegetables on their own, those that you eat as part of meals also count towards your five a day, so it's important not to forget about these too. Examples include vegetables in a pasta or curry sauce, soup with vegetables in it, or fruit in desserts, which all count too. We should try and include some fruit and vegetables in every meal each day to work towards achieving our five a day. And there are lots of easy ways that you can try and eat more fruit and vegetables. So at breakfast time, you could try adding some dried fruit or chopped fruit, such as bananas, on top of your cereal, or have a glass of fruit juice as your drink with your breakfast. At lunchtime, if you have a sandwich, try and make sure it includes some salads, like lettuce and tomatoes. If you have a packed lunch, you could also try and include a different piece of fruit in with your lunch every day. At dinner time, try adding a small side salad to your meal, or try a tasty stir-fry packed with lots of different types of vegetables. And after dinner, you could try having a colourful fruit salad for dessert. In addition to making sure to include lots of fruit and vegetables at meal times, snacking on fruit and vegetables can help you get your five a day too. Examples of snacks you could try include fruit kebabs, chopsticks of carrot and celery, and a handful of raisins, which are all good ideas of ways to help you eat more fruit and veg. There are some healthier ways that you can cook fruit and vegetables that help them keep all their nutrients. For example, if you are boiling vegetables, then try not to boil them in lots of water for too long, so that the vitamins and minerals don't escape into the water. You could try steaming, microwaving or poaching them to keep as many nutrients in them as possible. When cooking with a meal with fruit or vegetables, it's better to avoid or cut down on using creamy, cheesy or oily sauces and dressings, as these contain a lot of fat which can be damaging to our health. And also, try not to add salt to the water when cooking vegetables. As part of Healthy Eating Week, we've produced a target tracker, which you can use, and one of the targets is to track your progress towards eating five a day. So you can use this tracker to count up how many portions of fruit and vegetable your class or your school eats every day for a week to track your progress towards achieving your target. So thank you for watching this e-seminar and I hope you found it interesting. If you have any questions, I'd be pleased to answer them. Thanks very much, Sarah, for your presentation today and thanks everyone for joining in. Looks like Blake and Lee School's been busy making or achieving their five a day with making coleslaw, which is great news. Uh, I was just wondering, can you explain to me um, why juice only counts as one portion a day? Thanks, Michelle. Well, um, fruit juice and or vegetable juice only counts as one portion, no matter how much you drink, because when, um, when the fruit or vegetable is juiced, the process removes a lot of the fibre from the fruit. So um, if you were to only drink fruit or vegetable juice, um, as all of your five a day, then you wouldn't get as much fibre as if you consumed um, the fruit itself. So it's better to get a mix of juice and um, pieces of fruit so that, to ensure you get enough fibre. Thanks, Sarah. That makes a lot of sense. Thanks for explaining that. Uh, can you also explain to me why legumes only count one a day? Well, um, a similar reason, really. When... Well, uh, pulses like lentils and beans um, and those sorts of foods contain different types of, and mixtures of nutrients compared to um, fruits and, ve and vegetables. So we wouldn't want someone to eat five portions of uh, pulses or beans um, because that you need a mixture of fruit, vegetables, pulses, um, juices to make sure that you get 
a good combination of different nutrients. Uh, it, it sounds like our, the primary force from our ladies' school in Dundee is uh, having a wonderful picnic, a healthy, uh, going to have a healthy eating picnic. Yeah, we hope that you have found this interesting. Thank you very much for joining in. I know sometimes these events don't fit in with, the, with your schedule, but do remember that the seminars have uh, been recorded and will be recorded, and these will be made available on the website for you to watch at any time that you would like.